Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some Major League Baseball action for August 26th. And before we do, again, we invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section. All these tabs here across the top, these are all tools that can help you make your picks more successful. Okay, so Major League Baseball is getting down to the home stretch with about six weeks left. And every game is becoming more and more important for the many playoff uh, positioning left to be had in the league. Um, so let's take a look at some of these most important matchups for August 26th. Uh, Kansas City and Cleveland. You can see the teams are heading in opposite directions. Kansas City is burning hot down 5-1 and one over the last six. Cleveland dead status 1-5 and five over their last six. Uh, Cleveland's still in first place in the division, but... They are coming back to the pack pretty quickly. Um, Cleveland is, has been involved in games over the line in two out of the last three, and Kansas City in their last four. The score prediction reflects this, 9-6 to six in favor of Cleveland, but the confidence in the prediction is very low at only 28%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Kansas City is at plus 23, and Cleveland has dipped considerably from 20 down to 2 over the last few days. Um, if you look at the stability factor, the two teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. And you notice here a pretty much upward trend throughout the entire season, with Kansas City at 23 and Cleveland at 17. Um, let's see. The Royals are a game over 500 on their own, and the Guardians have one of the top home records in the league at 38 and 20. As far as the head to head matchups go, Kansas City has won four out of the six games between the two teams this season. But I like Cleveland to get back on track, particularly because they're excellent at home. So let's go with Cleveland in a game over the line. Chicago and Pittsburgh. We're going to look at Houston and Philadelphia, a rematch of the 2022 World Series. Both teams are in first place in their respective divisions, but neither team is playing well at the moment. Uh, Houston average up 1-2 and two over the last three, 4-2 and two over the last six, and Philadelphia's average down 3-3 three and three over the last six, but just 1-3 and three over the last four. The teams are trending in games on, uh, under the line. You can see 9 out of the last 12 combined have been under the line. But the score prediction is 7-4 in favor of Houston. Again, the confidence in the prediction is still pretty low. It's only 51%. On the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia on the downward trend. They are at plus 7 at the moment. And Houston uh, moving up from 8 to 14 over the last day. The Astros are... Um, 34 and 29 in the road. Philadelphia is excellent at home at 42 and 23. And the Phillies have a scoring differential advantage of plus 100 to plus 73. If we take a look at the uh, stability factor, Philadelphia was at its most stable back in July, and they have not played well since. And therefore, their stability factor being fair to most games and losing a lot of them has dipped them down to plus 23. While uh, Houston is moderately stable at plus 14. Um, first game between the teams this season, and I like the Phillies in this one at home, and let's go under the line. Next game we want to look at, uh, Toronto and Boston. It's Atlanta and Minnesota. Both teams are in the middle of the playoff race as well, second in their respective divisions. Atlanta average up after a 4-2 and two stretch, and uh, Minnesota average after a 3-3 three and three stretch. If you look at the over-under, the teams are trending on opposite sides of the line. And in the most extreme way, uh, Atlanta, the last four have been under. Minnesota, the last four have been over. So in this case, I pass on the over-under bet. Uh, score prediction has Atlanta 9, Minnesota 3. The confidence in the prediction is still pretty low at 60%. Head-to-head-wise, the teams have not yet met this season. Let's see how stable the two teams are. You can see much more consistent is Minnesota up at plus 26. Atlanta has been moderately stable throughout the year at plus 15 back uh, at the end of June, but since then not very consistent at all, and they have dipped down to plus 11 since. The Twins have a plus 73 to plus 52 scoring differential edge, and um, Minnesota is excellent at home, 36 and 24, so I like them in this one in a game over the Braves pass on the over-under. San Diego and St. Louis. Here's a game with two teams also in the playoff hunt. Um, St. Louis is second in their division 
actually they are actually are they second no they're not second in their team. anyway they're they're not really in the playoff hunt but the padres are the padres are four games back in the al at nl west but they are second in the wild card race just a half game out of first for that uh st louis is burning hot winners of their last two while san diego has averaged down three and three over their last six and they have dropped their last two in the over under you can see clearly that teams are on opposite sides of that uh san diego five out of the last six have been over while st louis four out of the last six have been under the score prediction is rather high at eight to four in favor of st louis the confidence in the prediction uh, a little bit better than the toss of a coin at 62 percent on the power ranks indicator you can see the steep upward climb from st louis up to plus 27 and san diego is on the downward trend and stable over the last day or two at plus six if we take a look at the scoring differential edge it is a nearly 100 run difference with the padres over the uh yeah over the cardinals in the scoring differential edge and uh have a better road record than the cardinals home record so because of those factors i like san diego and i'm going to pass on the over under now we're going to look at tampa bay and seattle this will be the final game that we look at for the day tampa bay comes in average status four and two over their last six and seattle dead status one and five over their last six games um 64 Four and 64 record for Seattle and Tampa Bay is 65 and 64. Although uh, Seattle is in the middle of the playoff hunt, second in the division, while Tampa Bay is 10 and a half back in the AL East. Seattle has a plus 14 to minus 51 score and differential edge. And if we look at the uh, stability factor here, we have Seattle at plus 12 after being as high as plus 14 back on june the 19th and they've been up and down since then and tampa bay has not been very stable all year the highest they have been is plus four back on june the 18th and that's where they're currently sitting right now at the moment okay so the mariners are very good at home though despite their recent star wars they're 37 and 26 at home if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup you can see that earlier seattle played Tampa Bay in Tampa Bay, and Tampa Bay won two out of the three meetings. So I like Seattle to get back on track, though, at home. All signs point to them in this one, and but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Okay, so there you have it. Those are five matchups in Major League Baseball for August 26th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.